Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the next seven days, okay? So, the next seven days. These two cards fell out. I didn't even see them fall out. March. Something to do with the month of March. Could be dealing with the Pisces. Could be dealing with an Aries. But something that happened in March may be coming back around to be dealt with now. That's what I get from that. Birth or conception of a child or enterprise. That could also be happening in March. So it's October now. November, December, January, February, March. That's only five months. So if you got pregnant now, you wouldn't probably wouldn't have your baby in March. But anyhow. Uh, crib, birth or conception of a child or enterprise. So it doesn't have to be a child. So basically, this is the birth of something new. So the birth of something new. I feel like something that happened in March. I don't know. Month of March is prominent. Let's get one of these. Birth of a new enterprise. What do we have for cancer? Ooh. Rejection is God's protection. So there's some sort of rejection here. You're about to start something new. An invitation is coming. An invitation is coming. Let's get one more. What do we have for cancer? Ooh. Two-faced. We have a two-faced individual here. It looks like somebody's mask is probably going to come off by the looks of things. So you may be dealing with a two-faced individual or, you know, if you're the cross watcher, it could be your cancer. Uh, there is a two-faced individual here whose mask is coming off. Whether it, whoever, whichever, whoever it is, somebody, whoever the two-faced individual is, it looks like their mask is coming off. What do we have for cancer? Mmm. Mmm. It came out reversed. I don't know. The high Priestess, it came out reverse, so I'm not sure if this is a lack of awareness. You may have somebody here that is unaware. They are not very awakened. They may be refusing to listen. You know, this is somebody that's not listening to their gut. They may be too reliant on psychics, tarot readers, empaths, you know, mediums, you know. Or you may have somebody here that thinks that they're, you know, spiritual, but they're not. There's also going to be some sort of secret that is revealed. Something that has been kept a secret is going to be revealed. Um, unaware. There's a lack of awareness here. I feel like we have somebody here that thinks that they know, but they don't. With the high priestess reversed. Because that's a lack of awareness. And overly reliant. It's overly reliant on, you know, other people's intuition. There's also ignoring, ignoring, somebody's ignoring themselves, they're ignoring, they're ignoring the truth, ignoring their gut, ignoring their intuition. Also poor counsel, somebody is receiving some poor counsel. A turning point. This is a turning point. Return, the start of a new cycle, right timing, regeneration, inevitability, steady improvements. It's inter interesting because before I started this reading, I was thinking that you were going through a transformation. Because And I wasn't thinking death. I was thinking like beautiful, some sort of beautiful. And I was thinking, I was thinking rebirth. And then I just, just remembered that because of the rebirth card, the birth card. You guys are going for it through a beautiful, it feels like it's dark though. It feels like you're in some dark tunnel. It's, and it feels like you're like literally in the womb, okay? It's like you're, 
And that's what I saw. I should have said it before I pulled any cards. I was sitting here, I was getting ready to turn on the camera, and I, it was almost like you were a baby. And I have a, a deck that has that baby in the womb, and that's what it feels like. It feels like you're in the womb, about ready to birth, about ready to emerge into this new world, this new life, okay? So I think that's what's happening. I do. That's what I pictured. Anyhow, a turning point. So return, the start of a new cycle, the right timing, regenerate, regeneration, steady improvements. So you are about to see things improve. You really, really, really are. Um, what do we have for cancer? You do have a two-faced individual here or somebody's been wearing a mask. The mask is coming off, okay? Secrets are being revealed. There is a turning point. An invitation is coming. You are definitely about to be born again, whatever that means. Ooh. The devil. The devil is toxic. Okay, toxicity. It's, it's toxic things that you put into your body. Okay, it is. It's toxic behavior. It's bound to something. It's an obsession. So we got somebody here that is tied to a situation. It's either an addiction or it's a codependent situation. Whatever it is, something you're codependent on. You, not another person, can codependent on something. And it could be, whatever it is, it brings you instant gratification. And you must sever ties. You gotta sever ties from it. We have somebody here that is in a, well that's in the shadow. We all have shadow. It has to be dealt with or it can end in death. If you don't deal with this situation, it can end in death. King of coins, Capricorn here. You have Capricorn here. You have Capricorn twice, which you also have Taurus and Virgo and the King of Coins. Um, we have the Chariot reversed. Very interesting. Let's just get the rest of the cards. So there's, there, there's an emotional outburst ahead. We have somebody here that is trying really, really hard to overcome their addictions. They're going to be headed towards security, but there's been some sort of delay. There's been a delay. We have somebody here that hasn't been able to master their emotions. Oh, sorry. I had that picked up. The cat went up there and took it and threw it down. I'm going to go have to move them. Otherwise, they're going to do it the whole time. Okay. So, you know, everything that happens during your reading is part of the reading. I had to go. Something had to be done. It had to be. Something had to be done. Nine of coins reversed. Must take action. The star card reversed. Hierophant reversed. I guess we'll take those. Seven of wands. Four of Swords reversed, Page of Cups reversed, Queen of Wands reversed, and the Knight of Swords reversed. So there's an absence here. There's an absence of good health. <laughs> I feel like we have somebody's health that is declining. There's poor health, there's uh, rejection, Page of Cups reversed. Uh, going overboard. We have somebody here that has a poor self-image problem. They're acting. They're doing something extremely, with all the reversals, extremely unhealthy. They're, they're not very spiritual. Or they're not very awakened. We have the Hierophant reversed and the High Priestess reversed. So this is somebody that is not really as spiritual as they may claim that they are. Um, may not believe in God, may have a relationship that is not on the same page. 
Um, we have somebody that's under a lot of social pressure, maybe even controlled by a father figure, or there's father issues here. Somebody may have lacked uh, a father. You know, they grew up without a father, so there's daddy issues. Um, the star reversed. Why is this happening? Um, no help, not getting any help, refusing, lack of faith, depleted, definite poor health here. We have somebody here that is ill. Four of Swords reversed, the Star card reversed, the Queen of Wands reversed. Uh, they may have, a, somebody has some sort of addictions, okay, with the Devil and the Page of Cups reversed. They have some sort of addictions, they may be even drinking, could be drugs, could be food. Whatever it is, it's very unhealthy, putting toxic substances into the body. There's a need for uh, stability. Somebody needs stability. Um, there's, I feel like with that star card reverse, there's a need for healing, but I feel like there's something that is happening. I don't know if it's a disaster or it was a disaster with the devil card. Um, why, why, why now? Why is this happening? Why is this happening with this, with the star card reverse? There could be, well, the four of swords could be, the, could be a death. Okay. It could be the death of a situation, an ending, an ending of a situation. And that's what, ha that's how you have a rebirth. Okay. So there is a rebirth here, but that four of swords reversed is exhausted, fed up, poor health. We have some, somebody who is really not doing well. They need, they need to protect themselves. They need to master their emotions. They need to take charge and they're just not doing so. This is somebody that lacks self-discipline. You know, uh, chariot reverse, nine of coins reverse, right together. That's somebody that doesn't have the determination and the discipline and the willpower to follow through with a task, to take charge of their life. This could be the end of a life as you know it. I'm just being honest. I feel like we have somebody here that is going overboard with their addictions. This is extreme, extremely, extremely toxic. There's some sort of toxicity here. Um, you could be dealing, dealing, even dealing with somebody that is extremely manipulative um, with the Queen of Wands reverse. This could be somebody that is uh, melodramatic, that is only looking out for number one, that is trying to control a situation. This is a very controlling, forceful energy. Um, I feel like something is really, 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 really off. We have a liar here. Somebody is lying. I don't know if they're lying about the children or they're lying about their addictions. They're just, we definitely have a liar here that is very, very, very unhealthy. This person is extremely unhealthy. They're, they're, this is some sort of disgrace with the hero font right in the middle. There's a disgrace here. May have something to do with a child because of the page of cups reversed. This may even be an unrequited love situation. Somebody's in a relationship or a commitment with somebody that they don't love. We get the Hierophant reversed and the page of cups reversed. Okay, it's unrequited love. We have a relationship that is no longer on the same page. And I feel like we have an individual that is, uh, this is somebody that is very decisive, that is making a decision based on their stability. This is a person that is in a position of authority that has a lot of life experience that is very, very wise. Somebody has uh, been refusing to take charge of their life. They've, they've, there's been emotions all over the place, very scattered energy, uh, no stability. We have somebody here that is very unstable and they need stability. They need to, they need help. They need help before they die. Um, I do feel like um, there's some, some, this is like the Knight of Swords reverse is a shock. There could be somebody that is coming in. They're throwing themselves into a situation. This person is on a mission. Uh, they're going to be doing something. Uh, you don't see it coming. You definitely don't see it coming. Somebody is coming in a hurry. Um, or they're leaving in a hurry. Um, this could even be a dangerous situation with the Knight of Swords reversed. This is somebody that is very, very ignorant, that has some sort of point to prove. It has to, this, or they're, if they're not in, ignorant, they're on a mission. Okay, this person, it, it does, it's not about your feelings. This is what I got to do. I don't care about your feelings because the Page of Cups reverse is right next to it. Okay, it goes the Four of Swords reverse, the Page of Cups reverse, and the Knight of Swords reverse. That's the lineup. The Four of Swords reverse is sick. 
It's sick. It's somebody is extremely sick. They are extremely ill. I don't know if it's a child that isn't healing or if it's a partnership or, you know, somebody has been rejected or they're in an unrequited love situation or they have a drinking problem or a drug problem or something like that. Um, or there's, a, there's just a, somebody has a problem with their image. May even be a food problem, you know, a um, disorder. A food, an eating disorder, an eating disorder. I feel like we have somebody here that is weak. Okay, they're very, very weak. They're growing weaker and weaker because they're not um, accepting help or they're not getting any help or they're refusing to listen because the, the Hierophant reversed and the High Priestess reversed. Is this, I feel like we have somebody here that thinks that they know it all. I think that we have a know-it-all here. It's like, no, I'm, I know it all. I'm not listening to anybody. Well, you go ahead. Don't listen. You could die in this situation if you're unwilling to listen. I do feel like we have somebody here that is standing their ground with the Seven of the Wands. It's like they're unwilling to budge. They're unwilling to budge, and there's no growth in the situation. It's like, nope, nope. Nope, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. I'm not listening. I'm not listening. I'm not listening. I don't hear you. It's interesting. I don't hear you. This is somebody that is ignorant, that is about to get a wake-up call, okay? They're unwilling to change. They're unwilling to take action. This is somebody that is unwilling to put in the work. They're unwilling, okay? So they're going to be experiencing some sort of... Uh, I feel like it's a separation with that Harold font reversed. Could be an accident. Could be an accidental overdose. Just saying. I mean, the chariot reversed is an accident. Something coming to a dead stop, coming to a dead halt. It could also be a car accident. Uh, somebody isn't listening. They're refusing to listen. This is somebody that is very, very hard-headed. Extremely hard-headed. They've been led down the wrong path by an individual that isn't very intelligent. There's some sort of disgrace here. Why is this happening? Depleted. No faith. There's a lack of faith here as well. Star card reversed and the hero font reversed right together. That's no faith. No faith. No faith in God, no faith in humanity. Don't believe, I don't believe, I don't believe in consequences. You know, somebody here doesn't believe, maybe they don't believe in karma. Or they don't believe in themselves. Somebody doesn't believe in themselves. You know, and they, they listen to other people when they shouldn't be. I feel like you're in a position, you're in a very tough position where you probably have to... Uh, find some sort of discipline you need to find your discipline to change and i know that you don't want to hear that you can go find yourself a fantasy reader that's going to tell you everything you want to hear and you can stay in the same predicament and you can die in this predicament if that's what you want to do fantasy is not going to help you If you're watching tarot readings, you need help. You don't need fantasy. You need reality. And there is a reality check that is coming. There is somebody here that is extremely unhealthy. And that's why we have all these reversals, because it's extreme. They are in a codependent situation, refusing to get help, refusing to put in the work, refusing to leave it behind, standing strong in their position because of a belief, refusing to listen to anyone, or listening to poor advice from people that are not very awakened, that, are, that have hidden agendas, that are only telling them what they want to hear for financial reasons. This is a bubble burst with the Page of Cups reverse. It's not good news. It is not good news. It is not.
We have somebody here that has main, been maintaining their position. I will not budge. You know, I will not budge. I'm going to I'm going to keep I'm going to stand strong. I'm going to stand strong in my position. This position is uh, not stable, okay? It's unrealistic. This person that is standing in this position is about to be taken down because they're lying. So we got somebody here that is lying. They're lying and they're sticking to it. It's like, I'm going to lie about this and I'm going to stick to it. This sticking to it, it's, they're going to be taken down. Somebody's going to be taken down from their position. Their lies are going to be exposed. I also feel like for some of you, I'm going to change the story now. If some of you, well, there's, a, there's, a must, there's a need for discipline. There's a need for discipline. There's temptation here. Tempted, tempted, tempted to... I don't know. I feel like there's another woman here for some of you. The Queen of Wands represents another woman. Somebody is very tempted. They they have a lot of they have a lot of uh, desires. We have somebody here that is is desiring something. They're which is pretty normal, right? They desire to hold on. <laughs> somebody desires to hold on to this addiction, whatever it is. doesn't believe somebody doesn't believe they don't believe they're unwilling 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 to let go unwilling to let go of this codependent situation whether it's drugs alcohol or a partner that is unhealthy or or an addiction i don't know if it's a sexual addiction or what kind of addiction it is but whatever this addiction is it ain't good Four of Swords reverse, exhausted. We got somebody here that is very much in their ego, extremely egotistical, very egotistical. Um, rejecting, there's a rejection here. Sad news. The Page of Cups reversed. You're going to be receiving some news. You're maybe dealing with somebody who doesn't want a commitment. And, and whether it's you or them, somebody doesn't want a commitment with the Hierophant reverse. They're not looking for a commitment. You know, you may be getting rejected. You may be getting rejected. Or there could also be, you know, somebody that, you know, it could be all of a sudden. It could be a shock. You could be surprised. You could be dealing with somebody that doesn't care about feelings at all. This is somebody that is very, very cold. There is somebody here that is very cool that, I don't know if it's whatever kind of addictions this person has, it's like they're unwilling to give up their addictions, whether it's, you know, a sexual addiction with other people, or it's drugs, or it's alcohol, or it's commitment issues. There is somebody here that is unwilling to give up. They're unwilling to give up their position, okay? There's no commitment to change here. There's no commitment to moving in a new direction. You know, so some of you may have thought that you were going to go in a new direction with somebody and boom. No, you're not. Um, you're dealing with somebody that is highly, highly, highly competitive. That is very, very forceful. That is very melodramatic. There could be another woman here or another man that is causing issues. You're dealing with somebody who is, it's like this person is, sitting on a throne, okay? They're sitting on a throne and they don't plan on giving it up. They like to be the center of attention. Whoever you're dealing with also is very stable with who they are. They're very secure with, they, with who they are. I think they're not really looking for any type of commitment. There's a lack of commitment here. I think this relationship isn't on the same page. Why is this happening? This isn't what I asked for. The death of a situation, disbelief, 
something is off. You're dealing with somebody who isn't ready. They're not ready. They, they like to be the center of attention. They're not ready. Somebody isn't ready. They're not ready to commit. They're not ready. Whether it's you that isn't ready to commit or it's another person and they have some sort of addictions that are you know, causing them to be all over the place. There's all over the place energy. I think I, I feel like something's gonna come to a dead stop as well. It's gonna come to a halt. I feel like you're dealing with a cold person. There is somebody here that is cold. They do not care about feelings whatsoever. Let's get one more card. Be prepared for a fight as well because we got the we got the seven of wands and the knight of swords reversed and the chariot. They're in one lineup. The chariot is reversed. It goes chariot, seven of wands, and the knight of swords reversed. That's battle. Okay, that's a battle. It is. It's a fight. I believe that there's going to be a competition or there's going to be a fight with somebody, you know, and there's some sort of instability here. This could be a massive fight. Outburst. There's going to be an outburst ahead. Angry, upset. Outburst, somebody acting on their feelings. Unprepared. You're gonna be you're gonna be caught off guard. With the Knight of Swords reverse and the Seven of Wands, you're gonna be caught off guard. There's gonna be I feel like there's some sort of emotional loss. I hate to say that. Page of Cups reverse is caught off guard by an arrival or a loss. Page of coins reversed. This is a missed opportunity, a lost opportunity. You know, this is some this is a dead end. Right? This is a lack of commitment. Dropping out. We got somebody here that does not want responsibility. They're not interested. They're not interested in putting in any effort. So I feel like there's going to be, there is, there's a lost opportunity or a missed, there's a lost opportunity. Somebody's deciding that they're not interested. They're not interested in this. They're going to, I feel like they're just giving it up. And I think it's because you're dealing with somebody or you, or if you're the cross watcher, we have somebody here that has a wandering eye. This is a dead end. It is a dead end. It's unstable. It's insecure. We got somebody here that is not committed at all. They don't want to put in the effort. They don't want to put in the work. There is somebody here that is uh, dropping out. They're dropping out of something. Six of Swords reversed. That is refusing to take a new approach, refusing to go forward, refusing to move forward, staying in a troubled situation. So we got somebody here that is absolutely positively stuck. They're stuck. I can see that. It's because of their belief. They're not very awakened. They're not very spiritual. They may think that they are. It's clear that they think that they are. They're in some sort of illusion or they've received some sort of poor advice. It's definitely time to move on from this toxic situation, but there's an inability to do so because there's so much codependency to it. There's so much illusion. The shadow has really covered up the reality of it. We go from the we go from the devil to the king of pentacles. The devil is the shadow. The king of pentacles is the reality. So the shadow has really clouded the reality of the situation. You know, the instant gratification that it brings, the, the fantasy that it brings, the feelings that it brings has really clouded the reality. Because the star is reversed, which is darkness. It's like, it's not being seen. It's not being shown. The shadow really has control at this point. The devil, okay? So the devil really has control. Has, has really kept somebody tied to this fantasy, this illusion, this addiction for so long. Okay, it feels like it's a female. I feel like it's a female. It could be a male, but I feel like it's a female. I think we have a female that is highly, it could be a male as well, that is highly uh, obsessed. 
but it's not there's not it's not bringing any wish fulfillment it could definitely be a male because cancer is a very feminine energy so it's a male or a female but anyhow um death of a situation this is the end of a situation with a new life to follow it is somebody is giving up on a dead end they are this is a dead end it is a dead end um, hitting, coming up against a roadblock, something coming to a dead stop, coming to a dead halt. Um, angry outburst ahead. Somebody's going to be uh, changing their positions. Um, I feel like they're going to be forced with the Knight of Swords. I feel like there's some sort of information. This Knight of Swords reverse. I feel like there's some sort of information that is coming out. Uh, that is going to be very, very emotional. It's extremely emotional. I see tears. I do see tears with the Page of Cups reversed. There could be definitely a sudden departure. This is somebody that is unwilling to change. They know it all. There's a know-it-all here. There is absolutely a know-it-all here that is unwilling to, to budge, unwilling to change. I feel like there's some something that is happening that is forcing. It's like I had to get up and move the cats. I had no choice. I had to. Or it wasn't going to end. Good luck. Forced change. 